What's up guys, Ram Bad back here and it's my first FM13 video so obviously I've got the beta because I pre-ordered it. I eventually found the email. And um yeah, I'm really liking it at the moment. Obviously first thing we've got this bit here. I really like this new layout. I like this top bar. I've got some bits here still, we can still add those. But I like the fact that you go into a meeting with your own straight away, which is I think really nice. So I'm in it right now. I just think that's actually really cool. And all this is, um, yeah. So let me get through all this. This can take a while. And yeah, what I really like at the moment is the new, when you press continue or whenever you're loading a screen. I do really like the fact that um, now it's uh, it's kind of like um, it's the drop down bit at the top, uh, at the top. I really really like that. It's really nice. And I'm really oh, I just love the new look to be honest. So obviously I've gone with Derby for my first one because I wanted to you know see if I can get a long one going because obviously the beta careers will continue into the um, sorry about that going through up to there. Um, yeah, uh, so we've got these guys out on loan. Ball, Ask Atkins, and Graft. Welcome to the club. Nico Yiannis. Let's see what he's like. Doesn't look too bad. Arsenal reserves. Might go in for a loan off of him. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, I'm gonna go with top off, so I reckon I can get that. We don't get much transfer budget though, so it's not brilliant. Yep, I know Jamie Ward's the best player. We can start off. Okay, I want a new. It's kind of left. No, not for the left. Oh, got it. Okay, these guys. Boots. Okay, so got all this bit here. What I do like. That's a three star. Thomas. Yes, quite. I, I know quite what like Thomas is. And obviously Mason Bennett, what a player. Five star. Probably being looked at by quite a few. Let me check his transfer. Surprisingly, no interest from anybody. He's a brilliant, fantastic player, literally. And let me just look at their squad. We also have Will Hughes. I'm not sure he's going to be in the first team squad. There he is. Five stars. Seventeen year old. If he's not on this, hmm, in real life, uh, my new Man City, but if looking at him, he's a fantastic player. So yeah, I really like this new layout. I mean, it's a bit, it took me a bit of a while just to find this bit here and this stuff. Oh, I don't like how you have to bring down the search bar. What I do like is when you go into jobs, you make the filters off. What you can now do, you can now manage reserve teams, which I think is brilliant. Look at all these reserve jobs. I love that idea. So if you lose your job and you can't find a pro one, you can go into reserve managing, which I think is quite nice. Uh, obviously, we've got all these trans targets, a shortlist. This is all with the um, head of football. Add some people into here. And then you got the transfer targets a bit. So I quite, I quite like it, actually. Um, I think everything else is pretty much. I mean, they've got a different background. The only thing I don't like, which most people say they don't like, is why have they greyed out the background? And I don't like the fact that it's not dark. You can't get a dark skin, which is really annoying. I love the dark skins. Although, I don't really like it popping out on me. But, yeah. Can't do much. Nothing's really going on there. I haven't actually had a chance to really play it yet. But um, I think our under 18 squad is quite is very good. The thing is though, do you please tell me where Yaya Sanago is? Oh, I've always loved him. Look. Sanago. No results found. I don't know what's going on there. That's really annoying. But there you go. 
Yeah, I think this. I just. I don't think much has changed. Like, really changed. Actually, a lot more of the stuff here is a lot more spread out. But I don't think. You know, I mean, I don't know the layout's changed, but the actual. I mean, I I do love though in game a 3D match engine now on the side of the screen when it comes up with things like yellow cards and especially when the assistant manager is telling you what's going on that's a really nice touch but um yeah I think with this one I'm going to try and get it going for quite a while I really like the idea of doing this one so I'm, I think I'm going to carry on when the full game comes out apart from a few network games with Jumper and he's going to be recording soon as well I just need to tell him how to set everything up and then he will be starting. That will actually become the Atletico Kebab YouTube stuff. I think we're one of the only people on Facebook that actually has a YouTube account. There's FM Suicide that also have one. And obviously FM CV, but other than that, no one else really does YouTube videos. But um, yeah, I think this season, I do really like this layout as well actually. It shows you the competition, it shows you the league table. I like how you, it fits everything in, and you can see everything. So yeah, although I did prefer it when the these bits are just here, you can just um, drop downs rather than having to scroll across to find each one. But it's still a nice touch. It looks it looks better. Yeah, the teams to go down will be Peterborough definitely, Millwall and Forest won't do brilliantly. I don't think teams like Brighton and Bristol City they won't have brilliant seasons or Barnsley and teams going up on the game should really be Wolves should do but I don't think they will Leicester they should do and Birmingham and Bolton obviously the three relegated teams are all very good teams if you look at their squads Birmingham squad they've got people like Morrison Unknown Burke Redmond Zigic very experienced players, very good players and also what I'm kind of annoyed at the moment if you go into this they got the one kids on a home scout I don't really like the layout though the new layout is a bit weird I'm getting used to it but it's a bit strange but um, they got the one kids there's nowhere near as many as normal although no one's made a skin yet and I'm really annoyed because I really want skin I think I got away until the full game comes out to actually get the skins because no one seems to be making them. But then what I do like, I like this bit. I know it's pretty much the same, but you can actually go into uh, other stuff. Oh, I do like this bit up here because you can go, you can scroll through. Like you can go to I know, South America, Brazil. And it gives you an overview below as well. That's a really nice touch. First Division, Santos, Santos, Neymar. So I, I do like that bit there because you can just go and do anything you want. And it also gives a preview down below. So I think that that's a really nice touch. I haven't looked at this much yet, but that. Is really nice. You click on your name, that is so nice. It's got the pen transfers, the squad status as usual, but then I like this bit here, that's quite I like how big it is. The league table there, team stats, that's nice. Got the profile, I got the FM thirteen loading things, I haven't managed to put anything else in yet. I have a worst opinion for three people already, it's nice. Eagles Dimetch Beast Defender Manager Croatian now. Yeah, it's got all this now as well, it's a lot more spread out. And then it's got um, all this stuff still. It has got club history instead of just achievements now. And the rest is pretty much the same. Uh, but, yeah. Finances were in okay shape. We should actually make a profit of 5 million this season. Tactics, I'm not sure what I'm really going to play. I think I might. That formation actually looks quite nice. But I might play with wingers because I want to play Ward and uh, probably some like Tyson on the wings and then Bryson 
and either Hendrick or H or Hughes or Coots or Bailey in centre mid, and then someone at defensive mid probably going to be actually Bailey. Up front will be Salmon and probably Theo, and then you'll have at the, at the back Brayford the right back. I'll probably play at James O'Connor or left back, so I don't like Roberts. And then it'll be where are they? Keo and I think Barker is in the reserve squad at the moment. Cause he's injured. Yep. How long is he out into four? Set of warning back. He is out for thirteen to fifteen months. Oh my god. But yeah, I think that team report. Wait, no, that's the wrong thing. Yeah. Yeah, best keepers fielding, best in the back here, then Brayford, and then O'Connor actually. But, um, it's surprising actually. Oh, yeah, because Buck's not going to First team squad, right back's Brayford, left back still Roberts, but I'm going to play O'Connor. The defensive mid, Bailey's in there. Bryson and Coots are centre mid, yep, and then Hendrick. He's probably got five star, oh, four and a half star potential. And then up front, you got Ward and Salmon, and then Robinson's quite far behind. But what's his potential like? Three and, three and a half star is pretty good though. Look at his acceleration 60, pace 18, and he's got good natural fitness and stamina. He's an absolute tank for pace and that. I mean, on FIFA, I think he's a silver rare because of his pace. I think it's like 93 pace, something like that. So that's uh, pretty good. I have been playing FIFA a lot more this year because I didn't actually get FIFA 12, surprisingly. But it's, um, it's a good game, FIFA 13. Not really, I um, don't have much time to play it to be honest, so I'm not really that into all my team. My seasons weren't working at first, now they are thankfully. It's so not actually play seasons. But um, yeah. And also, the thing I really do like, you go into the calendar. This is my favourite thing to be honest. Let me just get into the full calendar. Okay, take it. Just, here we go. This bit, I love this. I mean, it hasn't got up yet, but what does happen is it when you get on top. I don't know where it is though. It's somewhere. Okay, I can't find it. But um, it's somewhere, don't worry. <laughs> but um, yeah, I think I can fight from tactics. Yeah, change focus to, and you get this stuff. And that's really nice. You comment, get advice. This bit's nice actually. Get advice, and you've got your backroom stuff. Advice there. Scheduling. We really welcome team up for that. An hour rest. After match. Yeah, it's it's really nice. So yeah, guys, I'll see you probably at the start of the season after my transfers. Bye.